Well, hello and welcome to this short exercise on uh, simple interest. Now, I'm using this as an introduction to uh, arithmetic progression and then for recursive sequence. Uh, now, simple interest is a foundation uh, level topic for IGCSE and therefore suitable for uh, high tier IGCSE or GCSE. Now, arithmetic progression comes in, in different guises in IGCSE. Uh, certainly an AS level uh, math topic. Uh, so it's re uh, recursive sequence is certainly an A level math topic here. So all I'm doing is to use simple interest to introduce uh, AP uh, recursive sequence. Okay, I'm not trying to derive the formula. I'm just applying the formula or to introduce AP and RS. Okay, now your invested 500 pounds as, at, at the simple interest rate of 5% per annum. How much, will she, how much will she receive from the bank at the end of four years and be at the end of n years? Okay, now uh, the simple interest formula is this year. Hopefully, we know this already. Okay, where P is the amount invested or the amount owed, and I is rate of interest, and the, uh, as I is the interest earned, and T is the number of years, the period. Now, you must make sure that this all must be in the same unit here yeah? because if the interest rate is in terms of years your t must be your t should be in terms of years as well had t be say six months or nine months then this the value for t should be 0 0.5 years and had t be nine months this the value for t will be 0 0.75 years anyway moving on right now at the end at the end of the first year, applying this simple interest formula, her the interest she earned will be twenty five pounds. So where she to withdraw her money at the end of the first year, she will get a total sum of five hundred twenty five pounds. Five hundred pounds plus twenty five pounds interest. Similarly, for the end of the second year, beginning of the third year, that's how much she gets. Uh, interest of fifty pounds plus her original investment of 500 pounds there yes and for the end of the third year beginning of the fourth year she will then get uh, 500 plus 75 pounds there now note here that as the years go by her, the amount of money she gets increases by 25 pounds okay that's 25 there difference between those two and 25 there so it follows that for the end of the fourth year, beginning of the fifth year, she will receive six hundred pounds there. Okay. Now the twenty-five for AP. So we don't have to repeat the progression now. So for AP, now the twenty-five pounds there then becomes a common difference because that's the increase every year. So that's what it her money every year. So twenty-five pounds is not a common difference there. So we have some like at the start, uh, beginning of the second year, end of the first year, uh, beginning of the third year or end of the second year, and the beginning of the th fourth year, end of the third year, and so on and so forth. So we have terms now. For the first term, we got her original investment, which is 500 pounds. That's the first term. The second term will be the end of the first year, okay? And at the end of the first year, she gets 500 plus 25. A plus A is 500 pounds plus 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 25 is 25. So at the end of the first year, that's second term, she gets 500 plus 25 pounds there. Okay? Now for the third term, which is now at the end of the second year, she'll get that as the end of the second year. Right. For the fourth term, which is now at the end of the third year, she gets that. 500 plus 25 pounds. Now for the fifth term, which is now at the end of the fourth year, she gets that there. So the, the term number minus one times D. Five minus one will give you four at the end of the fourth year times that one there. Okay, now the the nth term, which is now at the N minus fourth year, she gets that. So for N plus one year, for the N plus one year, she's going to get N plus one minus one. So n plus one minus one will give you n. So you get 500 plus 25n. Have to be 
in that nth year or the n plus 12th term. Okay, for the recursive sequence, we're going to have this there. Now, as an example, if we say uh, for, the, for the fourth year, end of the fourth year, is equal to the total for the third year plus 0 0.05 times 500 there. That's what they get there. So we have something like this, 600 plus 575 plus 25. So for UN, which is the M minus one year, yes, UN terms, so it'd be the UN, UN minus, the U to M minus one term plus 0 0.05 times the first term, and the first term is 500 pounds, okay? So, for instance, now, and that's what we got there, sorry. So, for instance, if we got, for the second term, which is the end of the first year, we got 500 plus 25. Second term, first term, plus 25, 525 pounds. And moving on, so for the m plus one term, which is the nth year, it will be the nth term plus 25. So that's what she gets for the uh, nth year. Or if you like the m plus one term, because the m plus one term will give you the, the value for the nth year, and that's what she gets there. Hope that makes some sense. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye now.